Hi guys, this is Colette. How are y'all doing? <sighs> Let's see if we can make this video snappy. I am tired. It's not been such a good day for me, but um, had a lot on my agenda. Got it all done. However, uh, I did this very shiny, crazy look that I wouldn't normally go for. And I wanted to share with you guys because I did post it to Instagram and uh, some of y'all seem to like it. So let's give you a brief synopsis of what's going on on the eyes. I am still wearing the foundation. I'm really liking this, but this is not that video. All right. So I did pick up the Morphe, another big palette from Morphe. Can they make them small? Anyway, so this is my second extra large palette from Morphe. And this is the 39S palette. And excuse my hair, I've been not wanting to do anything to the hair. And so today I kind of brushed it and just put it in a ponytail in the back. I ain't got time for that. I'm just not bothered. And y'all know me, you know, y'all know I don't care. If I can open the palette. All right, so Houston, we've got a problem. It's stuck together and then I end up nicking one of the shadows in there. Anyway, whatever. It does come with the names printed there on the sheath and I've taped the sheath, glued it actually up there. Anyway, the palette is ginormous. There is no mirror. It looks like this. You can see the shade right here. Now, quick overview of the palette. You have a multitude of shades in here. Sure, y'all can find a dupe. You don't need this. Only thing I would say is, I don't know if y'all can dupe these shades in the middle because those shades in the middle, they actually are very soft, um, a very soft texture. They kind of remind me of Super Shock Shadows. Um, this bright purple this very deep purple that gave me a bit of a struggle using it um that's what i have in the crease and on the very outer edge and then i took this pink and went above it um i did use this shade here up underneath the brow bone as a highlight i went in with um a black pencil just in the inner crease just in this area here and here and i actually tried to use this brush and this brush to actually just press in this purple shade right it wasn't happening it was not playing nice it skipped it had um it was just patchy it was very patchy the blending was not at all nice um something is bothering my eye i think it's an eyelash you see how it's swatched and this is the thing when i do swatches i like to do not just finger swatches but also brush swatches because the finger picks up nicely will go onto the skin like this nicely but if you notice it shares out and it shares out and skips even more on the eyes um this shade that i used that one blended nicely did not give me the kind of problem that purple did and then i placed this other shade right here on the mobile lid and so I was sitting there thinking, I'm going to wipe all of this off. And then it hit me, use something from the middle and see what happens. So I went in with this shade right here. You can see there's a little indentation. I just took my finger, went in, and it looked kind of pink, like a pink shift. But when applied on top of that purple, that is what happened so that is how i achieved the look and i just went ham i just kept going back in there with my finger 
and just dabbing it on and then I took it on the inner part of the eye come on out here and I just went whack with it that was it it was not a big deal really I was just disappointed about how the purple performed because it's one of the colors that actually drew me to the palette and so for it to miss to not give me that payoff that I was looking for and function the way I thought it would function but then it's a Morphe palette sometimes it's a hit or miss sometimes they perform greatly I realize Morphe has been trying to improve their palettes good for them um, kudos but that one needed a little more work and it is a bit dry so it just gives you fallout and ends up being patchy anyway um, I am pleased as punch with the middle shades and I will play with the other shades but that's pretty much what I did to create the eye look and then I just used a black liner in here and on the very 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 close to the lash line as I could and blended that um, what's that shade like this this shade right here that's the one I blend underneath the eye and I also end up putting one of these like this color under there but yeah that's pretty much what I did for the eye look so if you were curious when you saw the look on Instagram I know a lot of you um, seem to like it and I, I got um, a good feedback from a few of you I just wanted to come in here and let you all know this is the palette I use and um, that's the look I achieved with the palette and my experience thus far but yes anyway thank you guys for watching I am going to go hit the shower wash my face wash this makeup off oil my skin do my skincare and crawl into bed so until the next video enough love and be kind to each other walk good bye bye